Okay, so I, I wanted to touch on a subject that I, I'm trying to figure out myself what is the, the real deal. And, and the issue, the topic is stereo bass. Now, people want stereo bass, to give you an idea of what people are looking for, they want something when, when there's a boom over there, they want to hear the boom over there. And as opposed to just having all channels going directly to the subs. And there's a, there's a couple of issues I see with it. The the issue of stereo bass. Okay, I, I did the thing the two versus one subwoofers and and you know disparity two is definitely the way to go. And these subs run a mono channel. So these are I mean my my AVR is an X two thousand, and so the way I run two subs is I just run a splitter and back, and it works. It does perfectly, and everything is bass managed. My towers, the center channel, everything is is all set to small, all at 80 hertz. And and I know these towers go down to 32 hertz, and you know that's a whole other discussion. You can see that on large versus small on the website, uh, subwoofer101.com under setting up your gear. Uh, anyway. What I have, what's what's occurred to me, or, or kind of what I've, I don't know, just been figuring out, is that, okay, you, you get two channels. So let's just say you're running a two-channel setup, and you you have a left and you have a right speaker. Well, the goal is that of that is to widen the sound stage and give you, uh, you know, a, a, a cymbal on that side and a guitar on that side. Okay, that's that's the goal, is to make it sound like you're at a live performance and you know in a live performance everything's kind of coming at you from different areas and so that's why you run separate channels so you can hear that you can hear you know separations and when you run 5.1 and 7.1 you hear even more and and things kind of tend to blend together but with bass it's kind of the opposite you know, for a long time we've been running 5.1s instead of 5.2, and you know what happens is every, you know, all the bass goes into one spot, gets reproduced, and that's what you hear, which is good. The reason you go with duals is to overcome the room modes and nodes and dead spots and peaks and all that stuff. What happens when you run a single subwoofer is you get these dead spots in your room where you're just not hearing the bass when you should be. You know the speaker's producing that sound, but you can't hear it until you move around the room. And then you hear it somewhere else, and then, you know, it, it's a confusing thing if you're not really aware of what's going on. So, with two subs, some people may think, oh, well, I want to run that left channel and then that right channel. And what happens is if all the bass is just going to that one left subwoofer and nothing to the right, all of the benefits of having dual subs evaporates. And so instead of having two to spread out, you know, and have a different sound over here and a different sound over here, instead what you're doing is you're spreading the bass out to get the same sound to your ears properly. I know it's getting kind of weird, but essentially if, if you have a left channel bass that's getting all the bass and then there's nothing going to the right, all of those cancellation, or, or not cancellation, I don't know, the interaction of the bass sound waves in the room, you lose that. And so that, the benefit goes away. And so if you have, you know, a, a multiple channel setup and you have a, a, a point two receiver, in other words, it's meant to run dual subs, if you have an option to do so, I would run that as mono channel to both. Uh, you know, you can, I mean, I don't have, you know, fair disclosure, I do not have a, a point two receiver. My receiver is a 7.1. Uh, but, but I've been thinking a lot about this, and if you have a single channel or a single subwoofer producing, you know, a separate base frequency than the other sub, they're not going to be working together as a team to deliver that proper sound. And the thing that I want to back up to is that people are looking for stereo bass. They're looking for, there's a crash over here, they want to hear that bass over there. Well, bass is omnidirectional. You know, everything under 80 hertz, give or take, 
is hard to localize. So it's just, it hits you where it hits you. It doesn't really matter. So unlike a higher frequency where you can pick out, yeah, that's coming from over there, you know, or yeah, that's coming from over there. With stereo bass, that doesn't happen. It, it, you, it's just the only thing you're going to do by having stereo bass is losing the effect of what dual subs offer. So that's one thing. And another thing is that when you have some sort of low frequency event, say in a movie, and it happens way over there, anytime you have a low frequency event, most of the time you're going to have a high frequency event along with it. So the, you know, your, your tower or your surround or whatever else, that will act in concert with the subs to give you the impression of that base event happening back there or over there or wherever. But you, you know, you, you want that, that base event to be delivered to you properly. If you cut one of these out by running stereo, then you're going to lose that effect. All of a sudden you may be hitting a dead spot in your ears that was resolved by having the dual subs. So anyway, this is kind of one of those things that I'm just kind of, you know, I've, I've got a pretty good idea of what's going on, you know, until I get a, a 7.2 or 9.2 or some sort of 0.2 receiver and be able to go through it and actually find out definitively what it, what's going on. I can't speak to with great authority on it, but you know, just understanding how it works and what's going on and, and how everything's interacting, you know, the idea of stereo bass is novel and it's good, but in my opinion, I think it's canceling out the good benefits of having dual subwoofers. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at. And that's also why I think everything should be bass managed and, you know, all your speakers should be run as small because if you're running, say, these towers at full range, you know, and I have a, an article on subwoofer101.com, uh, large versus small. Uh, if you have these running as large, the, the bass frequencies that do go down to 20 hertz are no longer being delivered to the subwoofer. And you're expecting, you know, these towers to handle those low frequencies with the same dynamics as a subwoofer. And I hate to break it to you, it's just not going to happen. I mean, unless you have, you know, monstrous towers that cost over $3,000 a piece and you're running 2,000 watts of power to them, you're probably not going to get the same dynamics that you'll get from a dedicated subwoofer. So, and, you know, so anyway... I just want to kind of throw that out there. I want to get you guys' feedback on that. I'm curious what you guys think, if you think I'm barking up the wrong tree or if this kind of makes sense. So let me know. Uh, I'm curious to get some feedback on this. Uh, I, I'm trying to nail it down, and I'm, I'm not quite there yet, but I wanted to kind of spitball it with you guys and, and see what you guys are thinking. But uh, I, for me, I, I'm not sure stereo bass is the right way to go. I think mono bass all combined into one sub uh, or two subs. Uh, is, is the way to go. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think and uh, please subscribe.